We are back. Round episode two. two. Episode two of the podcast. Yep. Hopefully we've we'll got more than 20 <laughs> views. Whoa, 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 dude. <laughs> give where give credit where credit's due. We got like 57. And three likes. We got 57. Two of them were us. <laughs> dude, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it was the topics. I don't know if it's YouTube, the algorithm. I don't know what was going on, but we got massacred. Yeah, no. They we got massacred. They did not like us. <laughs> they did not like us. Guys, if you guys that don't was like far. the podcast, like, let us know. Yeah, we'll just leave it in the comment section. We're still going to make more, but it just helps the algorithm. <laughs> just helps the algorithm. <laughs> gets us out there. <laughs> it gets us out there. But, dude, we got massacred on that first one. No, yeah. We got massacred on that dude, first it one. it did not go well at all. No, it didn't. So, yeah, we got massacred. Uh, but we're coming back, dude. We're no. coming back. You know, it was like how the YouTube video started. Right. The right. original videos, we were getting, you know, a handful of views. You're only on getting them. a little bit, and then it just slowly grows from there. So I, I think if you just, like, keep up with it, it'll be all right. But Right. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, when you don't want to talk about this episode, we haven't really talked about it. We kind of just, like, sat down, put our headphones on, and we're like, let's rock and roll. <sighs> Night's armament. Garbage. <laughs> Piss everybody <laughs> off while we're at it, <laughs> dude. The last time, because you saw my, I made the videos obviously yeah. on, on YouTube about it, and they were pissed, bro. You got posted on Facebook. I got <laughs> posted like, on this the, guy. This, this guy, guy says bull- Knights Armament sucks. This guy's bullshit. Fuck this guy, you little pussy. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, dude, whoa. But I mean, like, rightfully so. If you're if you're gonna spend the, the amount of money you, you spend on a. Uh, <laughs> on a knight's armament rifle i'd be kind of mad too if somebody some fucking douchebag was just like your rifle sucks and i'm not saying oh that. yeah no but i'm not saying that i'm not saying that knight's armament sucks because because they I don't am. they do make good stuff they They're, do make good stuff but it's 2022 and there's 10 times better stuff out there now that's where i'm at i'm like you're again i think that if there's any ma- manufacturing company out there that created some sort of cult following it's going to be knight's armament I think HK has a following like that. Knights but has a clock. I think, I think HK HK definitely has that cult following too. But if you talk to an HK guy about stuff HK and then you're like, nah, dude, it's trash. He's not going to like rip your head off. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, you talk to people that are diehard Knights Armament. They're they will, <laughs> dude, they will they get, get physical. Pissed, man. Yeah, dude, yeah. he will run up, he will grab your wiener and then he will <laughs> kiss you right on the lips and just say, how dare you talk about my equipment like that, you little fuck. <laughs> I'm like, Whoa. I'll have you know, I'm, yeah, dude. I'm a tier 0. 0.5 operator. <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm as far as SEAL Team 69. How dare you talk about yeah. me and my men's equipment? Yeah, it's like, whoa, bro. About the M1 but I mean, like, just going back to what we were saying, I was on, I was on Gunbroker uh, last night, and I just search around stuff, and I look up Knights Armament stuff, M110 stuff, mm. CAC SR15 in FDE, mind you. Guess how much they want for the complete rifle. <sighs> Six, seven, somewhere in there. 5,500. Yeah. Oh. CAC SR15 LPR Mod 2. Guess how much they want for this one? 65. Nine. <laughs> this is the doozy. This is the one that really, really piqued my interest. Okay. And I was like, oh my. Knights Armament Company 14.5 Mod 1 SR15. Just the upper, mind you. Just the upper. It does have a bolt carrier group, and it does have a charging handle, but it does not have a muzzle brake. Was that the quad rail? Uh, yes, it was the quad rail. Guess how much? <sighs> Just for the upper. 35, 4. 7,200. <laughs> 7,200. Dude, eat my <clears throat> ass and suck my dick. Am I ever giving you <laughs> $7,300 for an upper? <laughs> That's the point that I'm trying to make. The point that I'm trying to make is why would you ever spend that much money on an upper like that. Yeah. You can buy literally four or five nice rifles for that. But again, you are buying the Knight's Armament. You are buying the name. You're buying the name and the reputation with a lot of this equipment. You and know, it's, it's a like, lot of stuff that a lot of stuff that has military contracts. People just get horny for mer- military contracts. I don't but think we, they we, understand how cheaply it's sold to the military. Like it that's is. why. <laughs> right. It's like, like but the it, government doesn't buy it because it's good. They buy it because they buy, can get it by the buckets. They for cheap. <laughs> buy it because they can get it cheap by the buckets and it performs decently well. Yeah. In yeah. in numerous different con- conditions. Because I think Grant Thumb he did he, he did, did a video on of Knights Day. He did. 15. I saw. Did you see the freeze one when he froze them all? That one was pretty interesting. Yeah. I think the knights. Did the knights even perform? No, I'm not. It I'm, might I'm have not, fired. I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest. It really didn't do it. as well as uh, you know other rifles did. I think yeah. like the like the AUG or whatever did pretty well. Yeah, that bullpup style. Mm-hmm. But I don't know anything about bullpups. I, right, I think. 
and it was just odd, dude. It was just really, really odd. But I mean, we are huge HK fanboys. I love HK. Yeah. I think HK and the thing with HK yeah, you talk is shit on HK. I'll throw hands with you. Dude, and everybody's gonna talk shit about HK. <laughs> but half of them. I know all the Knights Army guys are now like, oh, dude. Germans. I know. Watch this. We're gonna get tons. We're gonna get tons of views, and people are just gonna be just shitting on us for talking crap about HK or not HK about Knights Army. But hopefully they put us back on the Facebook page. Yeah. I hope so. I even think, I think he was the son. Remember, it was the son. What was it? Uh, it was somebody that had something to do with the company commented on. <laughs> like the, oh, like, I think it was the owner's son or something. Something Reed. His last name was Reed. <laughs> or yeah, that's the guy that owned it, right? Something Reed or whatever. I couldn't tell you, man. He owned, he was part of Knight's Armament and he was like, Bruh. they never have any good reason why against what we have to say but they'll just be mad at what we have to say. No, I think it's just a matter of opinion. And I think Knights, unfortunately, Knights Armament didn't really keep up with the times or anything. And now yeah. it's like, no. what did you, what have you done? Like the M110, perfect example is the M110. It started getting fielded in 2007. What has changed on it? Nothing. Nothing's really changed on it. I mean, I know you, they're going to like different stocks and different scopes and stuff, but yeah, but is that, it's not really the rifle. Yeah, you know? that's not Knights Armament so, doing that. And I mean, going back to my M110. So I bought my M110. That was in... What about 2016, 2015, 2016? I bought it for 7,300 or yeah, it was like 7,300 bucks. And it was a Knight's Arm and M110 all the way down to the gas block pins. Mm -hmm. It was as close as you can get to close, as close as you can get. I sold it for 14,000. That was with right. the, the correct suppressor and everything like that. And yeah, you literally doubled the price. You doubled the price. Yeah. Yeah. And I did not put anywhere nearly as much money into that. I, so all said and done, that entire build with the suppressor, with the scope and everything was probably, if I was to guess, I probably had like nine, 10 into yeah, it, that's something like that. Guess, about nine. And yeah, I sold it for, well, I traded. I traded some stuff. It all equaled out to be like 14.5, something like that, 14,000. But dude, I just don't know. I just don't know what the hype, I don't really know the hype of it. And out of all my rifles, out of all the stuff that we've shot, which one malfunctioned the most? We're yeah. talking some serious malfunctions. The MSR. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, the MSR. But we're working on that. That's for yeah. another talk. That's yeah. for another topic. Uh, no, it'd be nice. It would nice be the M110, yeah. probably. The M110, that thing had... Non-stop failure to feed, non -stop. failure to eject issues. It was bad, it was just... dude. The bolt was locking up. Yeah, all and sorts everybody's of weird like, stuff. oh, well, you must have been shooting and it was cold out. No, dude, this was like no. sunny days. <laughs> it was just normal days. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, just get in, you know, the, the Knights are the M110. I mean, it's like, what is, I don't really, you have a fixed stock. Yeah. <laughs> you have, it's just, it's like, what year is it, man? <laughs> I, I know. It was like, oh, so, you know, you're using a quad rail, which I do like the quad rails, but I mean, like everybody's going to that M lock rail. It's lighter. It's, it, it's easier to use. It's more friendly to use. It feels mm -hmm. better shooting it, yada, yada, yada. And, um, that thing hasn't been touched since like 07. No. I'm curious to see what will what will replace the M110. Because I know they were going to the HK, that like the MR762, well, the M110A1, but yeah. people aren't really liking that thing. So I don't know. I, I don't know, know what will go. I haven't heard anything bad on the HK. The M110A1? I don't know. I mean, what, it's a, is it a 16 inch barrel? I don't know. What yeah, it, I think it's I mean, a 16.5. 16 I think yeah. it's a 16.5 inch barrel, like which, um, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think will replace them one time? I don't think we're gonna have a choice on. I think it's gonna be the HK. You think it's gonna be the HK? I mean, the contract's yeah. already started for the M one ten A one. So yeah, but was that was like the SDMR? Not really. So yeah, it's gonna replace like the M fourteen's role, which is kind of right. Like it's not actually replacing the M one the Knights. Right, right. So I don't think they have anything out there that's replacing the Knights anytime soon. No, you know, the AR-10 platform is an extremely tried and true old, yeah. like the SR-25 and the, M1, or the SR-25 and the AR-10 platform has had slim to no updates on it. Since, right, hasn't been know, touched. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can go to like maybe a, a piston-driven system or something like that, which I, to tell you, let me look at the MR-762. Never, I've, I've owned two of them, and I don't think I've ever, ever once had any malfunction with either with either of them. Mm -mm. Never once. Same yeah. with the scar. Never had any malfunction with the seventeen or the twenty. Right. So no, but I know that the British, the British were going. They were the trying. LMT. They went with the LMT for theirs, but they were testing out the scar seventeen. Mm -hmm. It was the scar seventeen, or was that the LMT, the Mars, the Mars H? I think it was. Yeah. And they chose the Mars Mars H because it was heavier. 
is what they said. What? Yeah. That 17 is a really, really light rifle. Really, really light, r- yeah, light rifle. Yeah, people, I mean, the people that I've met that feel that that thing did not like it. The 17? Yeah, did not like it overseas. I mean, I don't really, again, I've never, like, deployed with any of these rifles, so I can't really tell you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would just go to the range with them and stuff like that, so I don't really know what, uh, wh- how, how they would feel, like, in a combat environment, but I really liked the 17. I think that that was just all around a, I, th- I just thought it was just an all around great purpose rifle. It's the 17. I got a buddy who recently, like, we're talking like 2018, recently deployed with one. Maybe we could talk to him about it. Come on. I like the 20. 20. I think 20 is uh, a SCAR 20 suppressed. A suppressed SCAR 20, I think there's nothing out there that beats it, to be honest. I like that MR762. So that's the fact that you void your warranty immediately. Right. <laughs> but, I mean, I know I've talked about this in my other videos with the SCAR 20, but I kind of see what they're saying with it, what FN is saying with when you when you throw on a suppressor with it. Mm-hmm. This was coming from FN because I called them, I talked to them, and they said it's more it's more or less for those – those suppressors, those solvent traps, those ones that people just <laughs> drill in there, and then they're using hot loads, they're using hand-loaded ammo, they're using all sorts of crazy different ammo because right. the military just sticks with that. Well, I don't even know what the what's the 308 that they use, whatever it is. Gonna they just stick with, their, stick with one set ammo and then one <clears throat> set suppressor, so it's right. already ready to rock and roll. But they said it's for those people that are going out, loading their ammo, loading their rounds really, really hot, using these crazy solvent traps. And I kind of see where they're coming from, where it's just kind of, it's kind of like saving their asses, you know? So, but uh, I've never had any problem with it. I mean, even the SCAR 20 comes with a uh, adjustable g- gas block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so it comes for a setting for suppressed and unsuppressed. Mm-hmm. And um, I've never had any problem with the, I was running the um, Silencer Central, the Banish 30 on that one. Mm-hmm. Haven't had any problem. And I got the OSS, the OSS 762, the QD1 or whatever, right. whatever it is. Haven't even, I haven't even touched it. I got it. The paperwork came back, but I haven't even put it on any of my rifles. So they say that that one's really good. That's mm-hmm. uh, definitely worth a video. We'll, uh, I'm going to throw that on the, um, the M110A1 that's coming. So. You're out here lying to everybody. I mean, throwing any videos up. <sighs> Dude, I know. It's such a shame, man. It's such a shame with ha- what happened with Granby and stuff. And I hope that we can really, um, I hope we can really, really get back to a range. Maybe we should just go to like some like 300 yarder or something. Find one that's really cheap. It's, we're barely stretching the legs on everything. Right. Yeah. You know. But I mean, when we film and stuff like that, other than the ones that we do like thousand, the thousand yard shots and this and that, all we're really doing is shooting out to the two, 300 yards, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, maybe it's an option. It's an option. It's something we could look into. I want to make some videos, dude. I'm, uh, got a lot of good stuff. Got a lot of good stuff. Just need Grammy to let us back. <clears throat> yeah, they're mad at us. Yeah, they're kind of mad at us. But um, yeah, dude. I don't know. Hopefully, we can. Uh, hopefully, we can figure it out. Hopefully, we don't. Uh, but I mean, I think like all the stuff that we make, it's just kind of to ruffle feathers. Like, look at this podcast. <laughs> We just want to piss off. We just want to piss off the Knights Army people. That's what people are going to get mad. About. People are going to get, I'm telling you, people are going to listen to this and they're going to get really, really mad. They're going to just yeah. say we're retarded and we don't know what we're talking about. Basically. But maybe we don't. We don't really know what we're talking about. I'm just telling you, I put a lot of rounds through an M110 and it's, it, was, you it know, was subpar at best. It's a tried and true platform. It's a combat platform that has a history of going overseas. Right. But with that being said... There's a lot better stuff out there. There's a lot there's better stuff, stuff out that's there. starting to be fielded that will right. go overseas right. and is going to outshine it, such as the LMT. Right. So I like the LMT. I want to get one. I want to get one so bad, but they're <clears> kind of <throat> hard to find. I haven't really found one that I like. I like the FDE one. That one looks sick. LMT and Noveski, yep. finding any of their stuff is <laughs> right. so ridiculous. Dude, I like, man, Noveski gives me a boner, man. I love yeah. Noveski. Those are FTE NSRs are oh man, dude, you get me excited just talking about it. Those are those things are sexy. Whew. Yeah, maybe that's definitely on the list. Definitely on the list uh, to buy is, the, is an LMT and a Noveski. But mm. they do they have any three hundred eight semi automatic three hundred eights? I think they do. Noveski does. Noveski does. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they have like a ghetto blaster. So it's like, the ghetto blaster. It's like a ten inch barrel and fires a three hundred eight. Dude, crazy, <laughs> crazy. I want to get a honey badger. You know, the, those cool. things are sick. I like the 300 blackout. I think the 300 blackout is a lot better than if you were going to get like a nine mil or, you know, a 45, like the mm-hmm. CZ or something. Mm-hmm. Want to give me your CZ? Can I have it? CZ Scorpion. Come on. We'll talk about 
Dude, should we tell them what the plan is? Yeah, we might as well. We want to do, we want to do a, we want to do a video, a collection of videos. So this is my idea. We have the Mark 18 upper. I'm going to trade it for something of equal or better value. And then I'm going to trade that. And then I'm going to trade that. And it's going to eventually end up, I want to buy a Humvee. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eventually trade it, trade something for like a Humvee. You ever see those like videos? It's like, I got a car and all I started with was like a paper clip or something <laughs> like that. But we'll do it with a Mark 18 upper and then we'll see what, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see where it grows Mark 18 out. upper and now we have a Humvee. <laughs> now we have a rocket ship and we're going to the moon. Mom and dad are going to be like, what the yeah, hell? What Andrew? is that in the backyard? And it's like, oh man. That, that's my Humvee. <laughs> that's my Humvee. It's pretty cool. Like what color would you paint it? Black? Oh God. Yeah. We're spray painting. We're, we're not even painting it. We're just spray painting it. You want to spray paint it? it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just rattle can it? Yeah. Dude. Can we drive it around? Can we drive it around with like through like the uh, drive through and stuff? Oh God. Yeah. Definitely. Do you especially with diesel? Oh, dude, the TDI. I told you, you saw how much $87 yeah, for it. No, I'm good for, on that. Bro. You almost convinced me to get a TDI a couple months back, and they're I'm so great. glad I didn't. Dude, they're such great cars. They're such great cars. I love the TDI, but geez, Yeah, but man. my little Civic does exactly what yours does. I it know. doesn't cost me $90 to fill right. it. Right. <laughs> Dude, it was it was 87 bucks, and that didn't even... That was for 15 gallons. Yeah. I have like an 18-gallon tank or something <laughs> like that. It's or 16 or 17, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but I was at like a quarter of a tank, and it was $87 for three quarters of a tank. It's 55 bucks to fill the Honda. <sighs> Uh, yeah, everything paying. everything's going up in price other than our paychecks dude it's messed up man pretty much it's messed up work's talking about giving us a raise and i'm like Ooh. what kind of raise your salary right yeah it's gonna be pennies dude, it's gonna be pennies oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be, be like 50 cents and just be like congratulations yeah. 50 cents but yearly <laughs> yearly that's all you get you get like a christmas bonus or something uh no or well i mean they did like amazon gift cards last year but they gave them That's to sick. us i was really like if you're gonna do something like that I'd really rather you do it beginning of december so that i could use it for my christmas shopping uh yeah but, yeah like, they gave it to me like two days before christmas i was like damn it bro <laughs> what if they use this what would you do so what would you do if they gave you do you guys have like christmas parties no no christmas parties no never no I'm hoping my work has a Christmas party. All right, so here, try this on for size. So say your say your work was like, all right, we set this up. It's going to be a Christmas party, but it's at the Minx, which is the local strip club. Would you go? No. You wouldn't go? Nope. Why? I'm not falling for that. What Falling for what? Not falling for that. Falling for what? Sin. For sin. Uh, <laughs> even if you had a couple beers at the, at the, at the bar? Nope. What if it was like we're going to the Chippendales? Nope. Not happening. <clears throat> Still not happening. Would Dude. you go? Fuck yeah, I would go. What the fuck? Of course I would go. Grace, we got him. All right, oh. so she's not mad. So <laughs> she's even sad. And I tell it like, if I go, I've only been to the strip club like once when we've been dating. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty valid. Like, I don't go to the strip club to get like lap dances because that is kind of <laughs> pathetic. I think if you're going to the strip club to get lap dances is kind of pathetic. But I go... And we have beers and we sit at the bar and then we just watch these fucking old gross men just be creepy. <laughs> Tell me that's not, dude, I saw it. I saw it. This was old gold club uh, when it was the uh, gold club in Hartford. Mm -hmm. I saw a dude get hit in the head with a fucking pickle jar. What? Yes. Uh, from a stripper? Or? No, from like a bouncer or somebody. They got into a big fight and he got hit in the head with a fucking jar. Did it like shatter? Or is yeah, it shattered. Whoa. Yeah, dude. A Whoa. fucking pickle jar. Yeah. It was wild, dude. It was, was he wild. Like, touching? Like, what was what I don't know. There was some sort of altercation. Yeah, yeah. Then I got dark. Dude, those strippers are mean, man. Those yeah. strippers are mean. Did I ever yeah. tell you about uh, Club Fred's? Did I no. ever tell you that story? I don't even know where Club Fred's is. Oh, man. This is a good one. I was with James. Okay. It was me, James, and... Oh, I hope he's having fun. I hope oh. he's having fun, too. But it was me and James because James was James. going to... James, if you're watching this... Yeah, we miss you, buddy. We're come ready home. for you to come home. Come home, buddy. But we were at, so he was going to Penn Tech in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, which is a <laughs> fucking shithole. Dude, it's a shithole. I had a knife pulled on me. We saw a shootout in his backyard. Not even kidding you, dude. I'm not even making James this up. James always picks the classy places. <laughs> James, will con James will confirm all of this. He will confirm all of this. And I was with Loftus. I was with Loftus. Imagine too. going from that and then to his place out in right. North Carolina. It's like from rags to riches. For real. <laughs> Dude, it was like Williamsport, Pennsylvania. If anybody's from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, the place is a fucking shithole. It's a shithole. 
And um, so Some nights armament owners out there, yeah, it's like, no, like yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna kill I, this kid. I mortgaged my house so I can pay for this uh, night's armament <laughs> upper, seventy three hundred dollar upper, or whatever it was. We were, right, we, we we went to go visit him. He was mm-hmm. in college. He went to um, a college down there, and he's like, "You gotta go check out this strip club." It was called Club Fred's. So Club Sounds Fred's. Sounds like you're going to see a dude. Like there's a 13-inch long. That's yeah, going to pop Like he's tucking. Like he tucks between. Like, <laughs> it's just the tape. The tape wears off because he's so sweaty. And his big <laughs> dong. His big dong just hangs out. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> so. Drops right into your yeah, plate of wings. Right into my <laughs> shitty plate of undercooked wings. And I get, <laughs> I get beat up. <laughs> So yeah, you don't even do anything. You just beat your yeah, ass because the dong ass, fell into your wings. Yeah, because his dong <laughs> fell into my wings, and then the hot sauce was all in, and it just made a big old mess. <laughs> but Club Fred's, so Club Fred's was a, um, it was a BYOB strip club for one. <sighs> Would they not have a liquor license? I guess not. I don't know what was going on. Didn't ask. I thought it was crazy. So you would literally bring in like your thirty rack of beer, mm-hmm. and then like you had to keep it in like this little like creepy room <laughs> and like that's where you drank your beer you couldn't drink it out on the floor so everybody was that in there sounds illegal it was weird <laughs> it was so weird so everybody like you just got the you just got their club shut down i don't know dude. It, <laughs> it was fucking weird atf just heard that <laughs> it was weird and they're like club club what <laughs> if that is what there's there was more grammy stuff going on in this place than <laughs> drinking beers in the in the back room but so everybody when you wanted to go have your beer there was like 15 people in this like little tiny closet drinking beer. So you like, you were, you know, talking to everybody, everybody would like talk to each other. And it was just, it was really bizarre. It was really grimy. I just needed a fucking shower after I went there, Mm -hmm. but that wasn't the best part. The best part was it was an abandoned pizza hut. (laughs) What? <laughs> the building, the building was an abandoned Pizza Hut. It was like the Pizza Hut sign, like the no, but it still had that like Pizza Hut. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It was yeah. like the Pizza Hut, like you know, like that sharp like arch on the mm-hmm. on the on the roof and stuff. So it, it was an abandoned Pizza Hut, and they didn't have a stage. They didn't have anything. It was just an open room, and they had like you know those fold up <laughs> tables. They had fold up tables and fold up chairs put into like a horseshoe formation for, for the girls. And it was just like a big old chain that they would just go around. They'd start over Dude, at the this end. literally and sounds like a college strip club. It was. I mean, it really, really was. It was like just like owned a college. by college kids. It was just like grimy, just low budget, like our podcast, just grimy, low budget fucking establishment. <laughs> so these girls are dancing around this, this the horseshoe formation mm. fold up chairs. And then she gets to me. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So she's on all fours. She like I'm throwing cl- crawling on the tables, or is she like under the table? They crawl on. They, they crawl on the, on like on top or like under? on top of the tables. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they just like cr- crawl around oh. and uh, have these, dude, uh, these crates are not <laughs> dude, our chairs. <laughs> our chairs are our chairs are milk crates. <laughs> But it's like Club Fred's, dude. Club Fred's had this more. This is some Club Fred's. <laughs> dude, they had better. Club Fred's had better uh, better chairs than, than we do. So we go and we, um, and this this girl's walking around. She gets to me and she's on all fours doing her thing, dancing. Well, I put a dollar bill on her butthole. Okay. <laughs> like what any normal person would do. All right. <laughs> she said. She said I touched her butthole, which, well, I probably did, but <laughs> the dollar was there, you know. I'm not even kidding you, Kyle. She had six-inch stilettos on, you know, the mm-hmm. big old six-inch fuckers. These things are like daggers. Yeah. She donkey kicked me so hard in the sternum, right in the chest, donkey kicked me. I'm lucky, <laughs> like, I pray, I'm like, dude, I, I'm glad she didn't kick me in the face. It would have knocked my fucking teeth out. <laughs> And she kicked me in the chest so hard, knocked the wind out of me. Oh, I was like, oh, oh. Starts losing her mind at me. Starts losing her mind at me. The bouncer has to come over. He's really, really nice. He's like, dude, you just can't touch the butthole. He's like, dude, you can do whatever you want. Just don't touch the butthole. And I was like, my bad, man. My bad. I thought I was at Club Fred's, you know. I thought I was at Club Fred's. Yeah, I Club thought Fred's. anything goes at Club Fred's. Yeah, I found that out. Anything, a lot goes, just don't touch the butthole because you're going to get, you're going to get donkey kicked in the, in the sternum in the chest with stink, six inch stilettos dude Do you have like a nice me. bruise going or like i don't know i don't remember it didn't it didn't fucking feel good did not feel good and then we were going of course so then we go to um 
he, James was in a frat. Mm-hmm. So we go, he does like this big Halloween. We'd always go on Halloween. So he had his Halloween party with him and his, his frat guys. It was me and Loftus. We were sitting in the um, kitchen and we were making a pizza. Why not? We were all drunk. Nothing better than a good old frozen pizza for a drunk snack. So we're sitting there, we're making it, we're in the kitchen. This really, really creepy kid walks in and he's just sitting there and he's just like staring at us. And we're like, what's up, dude? He comes over to me. I'm not even kidding you. He comes over to me, grabs me by my neck, pulls out this massive knife puts it to my throat and he stares at me with his beady little creepy eyes, stares at me, lock eyes. And he said, this is what he said. Where are there 18 year old girls? Like he had, yeah, he had, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> he, was, he was on a mission and he knew what the mission was. He didn't want girls. He said, where are the 18 year old girls? He was protecting himself. He didn't want no underage girls. Like he was about to murder me. He was about to murder me. But he wasn't going to jail for no, he wasn't going to, he wasn't, he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't about to jail. Be a pedophile yeah. jail. <laughs> I'll murder you, but I'm not going to be a pedophile. I want the 18 year old ones. So me and Loftus, were just sitting at, we're just staring at each other. And I'm like, I'm all shit faced. I'm like, what? He's like, where are the 18 year old girls? And I'm like, bro, you are fucking creepy. And then finally everybody comes in and it's like, it's like, it was, dude, it was like right out of a movie. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Big ass blade, dude, right to my throat. This guy was creepy. I thought he was gonna. Yeah, I thought he was gonna slip my throat right there. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die in Williamsport, oh Pennsylvania. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's how you go. <laughs> that's imba- dude. I would be pissed. Getting I'd be kicked pissed. by a stiletto and then having your throat cut at yeah, a frat dude. party. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was how my weekend went. Yeah, yeah. There was oh, some other man. stuff. We saw I, the I could just out. picture James being like, "Well, I'm really sorry that happened to you, buddy." No, they were bros. Like all the all the frat bro, all the frat his frat brothers. They were they were cool. They were like, "Bro, you can't be coming in here fucking bringing a knife out." They almost like kicked his ass. They're like, "Get the fuck out of our house!" And I was like, "Oh, thank God." I was like, "I, was like, I ain't getting. St- I don't want to get stabbed. I don't you know? want to get stabbed over some like, eighteen year old do? girl." What would you do if somebody like pulled? Would you shoot him? That would be like legal grounds to blow his brains out, right? I guess, but. Yeah, but then you got to think, dude. The second you 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 pulling out the firearm, you're gonna escalate the situation, and the knife's already at your throat. So this all is you true. Have to do is just do like a little. But well, you have to get the weapon. I mean, even <clears throat> if I do, I mean, like if you're cutting my throat and I'm dying, you're coming with me, baby. We're going down Cross together. <laughs> We're going down together. I'll bleed out, but your ass is getting shot. Yeah. That'd be fair, right? That'd be, yeah, that'd that'd be kind of be game. fair, right? I mean, like you don't go around just pulling knives on people and putting them to each other's people's throats and expect nothing to happen, right? Dude, it's the regression of our society. It's now socially acceptable to do that. I mean, did you see what happened in, uh, was it it Chicago? Are we following that? Did you see what happened in Chicago? This Mm -hmm. is wild, dude. They had, like, this was in, like, the middle of the streets. Big gang war in the middle of the streets. Massive firefight. They, 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 like, emptied, like, 100 rounds or something. It was, like, 90-something rounds or whatever in the middle of the street. Like three people got shot. Dude, that ain't shit. That Bristol shootout was fucking oh, yeah. four hundred rounds. Man. Yeah, that was another one. We can talk about that. That was sad, man. That was sad. But the, yeah, but we the, might want to skip that one. <laughs> yeah, still under investigation. But I don't really know what's under what. We'll go back to that one. But the one in Chicago, dude, they, they massive fucking firefight between these two gang, these rival gangs. Like three people got killed, and not one person got arrested. Nobody got arrested. Nothing happened to any of these people. They called it mutual combat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Imagine that. I'm not, I'm not making this up, dude. They called it mutual combat. Like we're in the fucking medieval ages, dude. What the yeah, dude. People walking around just like having a good old time. And like these two gangs just start banging it out, just shooting at each other. It's becoming normalized to us. It is becoming normalized. Yeah, yeah, it is becoming normalized. Yeah, dude, mutual combat. But yeah, I mean, that goes back to that Brist- the Bristol shooting, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck was that, man? What yeah. was that? Yeah, I don't have a lot to say on that. I mean, like, yeah. I was just, like, thinking about it. Because, like, they all, they had, like, an, him and, like, the brother had, like, an alter- altercation at the bar or whatever. So mm-hmm. they were obviously drinking. Like, dude, you ruined so many people's lives for what? Yeah. What was that for? Sad, yeah, dude. Me, dude. Sad stuff. No, I, yeah. It's just. Yeah. No. Crazy fucking people, man. Crazy people. Selfish, 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 crazy people, man. Yeah, I guess the um, 
the cop that survived, he walked out of the uh, fun- so they presented the flag to him, the yeah. ground zero flag. Yeah, and um, he walked out of the stadium after being shot in the leg. Good for him. Yeah. But he, he took one to the leg. Is that mm-hmm. what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, dude. He's like 26. Kid was like 26. I've met him before. He's the a young kid. Cool yeah. Was he? Man, dude, that's sad. That's sad. Bristol's a shithole, man. That goes back to like Aaron Rodgers. I mean, everybody knows who Aaron Rodgers is. For he's the, from Bristol. He's from Bristol. Dude, that's another one. Like that, that's like that stuff out. Like there's the, just always grimy shit coming out of Bristol. Bro, there really is, which is weird because there's some like really, really nice areas of Bristol and there's some really, really shitty areas of no, Bristol. No, dude. Entire place is chill. Dude, it's crazy, man. They're all going to come find me because I said that. It's okay. Probably. <laughs> I'm all right. Probably. But like, I stand by what I said. But dude, going back to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron He's from Bristol. If everybody knows, he was on the New England Patriots, and he uh, Patriots Patriots. I have a speech impediment, but dude's worth multi millions of dollars. NFL football star. You have anything you want. You got fame. You got money. You got chicks. You got <clears throat> cool cars. You got anything you want. Right. Could not get out of that dumb gang life. Nope. <sighs> Crazy dude. I don't understand that. Lost it all. Lost it all. What did he do? He Some, murdered somebody, didn't he? He murdered like four or five people, dude. Jesus yeah. Christ. He he murdered a couple people. One of them, the dude spilt a drink on him. So he murdered him because he disrespected him. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Dude, I can't tell you how many times he spilled drinks on people like plaster. <laughs> Can you imagine that? You have everything and you threw it away for disrespect. And yeah. then your ass hung yourself in Walpole. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you go out. <laughs> That's how you go out. You had everything. And then your ass hung yourself in Walpole. Dude, Crazy, imagine being dude. like 25, you puke on a dude, and he turns around and just right, shoots, he just you. shoots <laughs> you. He just stabs you to death, dude. That's the world. And then, oh. they, then they call it mutual combat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <He's like, laughs> so he agreed to this? So agreed <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, dude. Bro, but that was that guy. What was, what was the dude from Migos that just died? Take off. Take off. Yeah. That was another one. So what? He, he had... The dude was worth, I think like Migos is worth like $90 million or something. Mm. We'll just round it up to like $100 million. Mm. We'll say there's three of them, right? Or there are two of them. There's three. So do the math, $33 million or something like that. Mm -hmm. You're worth, you again, you have all of the fame. You have all of the money. You can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. You can do anything. You have generational wealth at this point. You invest Mm -hmm. that just kind of brightly you will never have to work again your kids will never have to work again your grandkids will never have to work again Mm. dude died in a shitty ass bowling alley playing a game of dice (laughs) what What? he was trying to leave the confrontation at the time i hear it was an accident but dude but then again it's like dude like would you go down all right, so say you went down to the north end of Hartford. Say I went down to the north end of Hartford. I had a big gold chain on, and I was waving around a stack of money, and then I got robbed. Would you feel bad for me? No. The point that I'm trying to make is yeah, it's like when you surround your house yourself. All your guns because you post them on YouTube all the time. When you yeah yeah <laughs> exactly like they know who you are and they know what you got. But the point that I'm trying to make is when you surround yourself with stuff like this and bad things happen. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I don't know what you want me to tell you, you know? No, it's very unfortunate, but, you know, what did you think was going to happen? Right. I'm like, I don't understand. I don't I don't understand what you think was going to happen when, uh, again, you don't go down to the north end of Hartford waving around a stack of money, ha- hanging around with scummy people and expect it to be A-OK, you know? Right. So it's weird, dude. It's weird. Really re- weird world. And, uh but at least we're not Knights Armament uh, owners, you know? <laughs> oh, man. I still, I still got my bro. SR15 up. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. How I much you spent on that? It. I didn't know you had one. 1800 $1,900. It's not bad. No, like, this was back in the day, though. This yeah, was, before this the was big, pre-COVID. Like, before the big spike and stuff. Mm-hmm. But... um. <sighs> I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to finish this rifle. And then I went and looked at lower prices. I was like, this thing's going to sit in my gun safe until these prices come down. <laughs> but they, they ain't never coming down. They're just only only going to go up. But that's, <clears throat> that's again, with all these other rifles. That was the Mark 22 kit. Yeah. Everybody laughed at me that I spent $16,000 on that Mark 22 kit. There's one online. There's one on Gunbroker. Mine was numbered 59 ever made. So mm-hmm. I don't know if these, if this I wish kit. I 69. That would be cool. Mm-hmm. I know, right? That would be really, really cool. 
prestigious. Um, that would be prestigious. But uh, I saw on Gunbroker the kit was going for thirty two grand. <laughs> I already doubled your money. Thirty two grand. Yeah. Wild, right? But yeah. I think that goes with anything. Like as soon as, because I saw what was going to happen, I saw that it was going to go up. The price. Well, was I mean, go that's up. how the M110 kits came out. They right, were eighty something, like a complete kit. Eighty, like eighty eight hundred. Yeah, that was nights. even like, yeah, that was dude. That was even the XM2010. I, mm-hmm. I remember I talked to Remington. I was the um, it was the International SWAT Challenge in Simsbury. Mm-hmm. I was there, and I talked to the Remington defense guy. And I was like, dude, how, I was like, I want to get an XM2010. He's like, oh yeah. It was like all said and done. I think like the entire kit, the entire rifle and everything was like 6,800 bucks. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> now you want now, now look at us. <laughs> now you're looking at 6,800 bucks just for the chassis. Yeah. Something like that, which is wild. Dude, cloners go wild. They do go wild. Cloners go wild for the stuff. They do go wild. And like, why do you spend so much money on guns? Blah, blah, blah. Cause if you keep them. They will go up. It is totally an investment. A gun is totally an investment. A good gun. A good gun. Knight's Armament stuff, HK stuff, all that crap. FN. I would even say FN, kind of. But the 416 is just going to skyrocket over time. 416 will go up, definitely go up. I would definitely hold on to yours. Um, But, I mean, it's all good stuff, and it definitely is a huge investment. Like, if I sold all my guns, I can just flat out buy a house, I think. Yeah, probably. But... I'm not gonna because I'm a gun queer. And, and a gear queer. Up. I'm a gear queer. I do we like we like that stuff. What I mean, it's gear? definitely a it's it's a it's definitely a hobby, but you're gonna get goggles or you're just gonna be a pussy your whole life. I'm gonna be a pussy my whole life. You're not gonna get a pair of goggles? Eventually. Why? What Bro, I'm waiting until like China comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse engineers, all that crap from <laughs> what as, was as we've seen with that Somo gear from <laughs> what's his name's YouTube video. <laughs> the Somo gear. <laughs> Went through Dude. hoops to grab a full power pack and he's Bro. just like, yeah, this Chinese knockoff thing is better. <laughs> An airsoft, imagine that and it, like that and that you know that that would just that would just break my little heart, bro. Yeah, so ex- eventually Somo Gear is gonna come out with nods and they're gonna yeah. be better and if not better equal quality. Better. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm gonna get a pair of quad tubes for like thirty five hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Would you get it? You would get a pair of quad tubes? Probably not, dude. They're too no. heavy. I hear that I hear a lot of people didn't like them because the army was looking at them for the aviators and they said, nah, not happening. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I've never I've never wore a pair. I've seen them, but I've never I've never tried them on or anything. But. this is uh just the infantry hotline. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. I'm going to take it with a big old <laughs> grain of salt. But I guess uh, Delta went back to um, dual tubes, banning the quad tubes, because they were just too damn heavy. And it's just not practical. They went from, what What are they using now? What What goggles are they using now? I'm assuming probably 31s. Yeah. Yeah, aviators got those <laughs> cheap bridged, the bridged Ambus, 14s, <laughs> the Ambus sixes or whatever. The those Ambus things are nice. dope, man. They are they're they're nice goggles. I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, you know, when it's like the whole articulating thing, and it's not. I never really understood the. Well, I wouldn't say I never understood the the concept of it or why you would ever need one, but mm-hmm. I not for. I don't think for aviators you would need something like that, mm-hmm. but. Um, I think they're all right. The Ambuses aren't bad. Yeah. If anybody watching this uh, YouTube video has a Somo Gear full power pack. Yeah, you let want, us know. Yeah, you let us know. We want yeah, it. You let us know when we want to do a we, video. We on got it. some practice. <laughs> yeah, dude. They said it they said it was a uh, I I watched that same video. I did I send you one or did you send me one? I sent it to you. Because I was watching because I had another buddy you, that said it sent me you, this. A you video. sent it to me and you were like, is this what your pick looks like? And yeah. I was, I was like, like, no. And I was like, yeah, bro. I was like, dude, you have a you have you have you use airsoft equipment. But <laughs> yeah, and I was like, excuse me. Where is your pack, dude? Come on. Is it coming or what? It's coming. It's coming. Damn, it's coming, dude. Man. I just like the Things D-ball. Old as hell. <laughs> dude, I just like the D-ball, man. I like mine. Mine's not bad. The Steiner. Steiner makes good stuff. Are you farting? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Mine's going to overpower yours. I uh, feel it coming. The our podcast just talking shit and farting. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you ain't stopping us. This train ain't stopping. <laughs> <laughs> this train ain't stopping. Yeah. yeah no. um, I, I hope we make I hope we make the Knights Armament uh, Facebook page again. They're gonna be like, that's a kid again. You fucking you little <laughs> pussy. Now they're saying that they're gonna buy Chinese nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now they're, now they're talking about they're talking shit on our beautiful equipment. Now he's saying that he's gonna get Chinese knockoffs. Yeah, like you little fucking homo. <laughs> Damn it! They're gonna lose their shit. Yeah, at dude, us. they're gonna lose their shit. Oh man! And everybody's like, like, they don't deserve those rifles. Yeah, they, have. they don't deserve all those. 
Man, dude. You, you, nothing beat that. It's like that. No guy, it's like that guy that was on your video. He was like, "Oh, yo, you can't shoot a thousand yards. You suck." <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That, <laughs> I can that, shoot that, a thousand yards with five, oh, five, six. Dude. All right, dude. We'll fly you out here to dude. prove it. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, "No." He's like, "He's like, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna come all the way down there and just, you know, you guys edit it, make it look like you're you were right." And I'm like, "Dude, look at our videos. Our videos are just so <laughs> we shit look so edited. stupid, right?" <laughs> so I'm like, dude, literally none of <laughs> like our, if you came out there. You outshot us and Listen, okay, guys, you won. <laughs> we don't put like I would think it would be even a funnier video to be yeah. honest if he if he proved us totally wrong. Yeah, but, but they're not going to. Nobody ever does. And like, listen, all yeah, of our videos. Like, I'm gonna fly up there, and you guys aren't even gonna pick me up. I was yeah, like, we'll dude, get we, you the hotel. We'll I was out. We even buy you a hotel, yeah. and I want to. Anybody that's out here, that anybody that that is a keyboard warrior that wants to talk shit, we will personally fly you out here. We we, we won't talk shit to you. Well, maybe yeah, a little but you, bit. Of shit. But you have to make a thousand yard shot. With but like you have the to make a scorpion with exactly. <laughs> Exactly, because yeah, that guy was like, Ugh. dude, it was a thousand yard headshot, thousand yard headshot. I mean, look how small the head is. You saw mm. what it was, and it took us like fifteen rounds, and everybody tore us to pieces, yeah, two pieces. And I'm like, bro. And then for one, the I ammo do that we were one using shot with a five five six yeah. right now. <laughs> you guys are trash. And that ammo that we like, so that ammo that was hand loaded ammo. That's mm -hmm. when I was trying to get a good load down for it. Yeah. So you can see how it was kind of bouncing around. Even in the video, it was bouncing around. It. It was in the vicinity of it, but it just wasn't. Finally, we got it. We got it right in the neck, and then we hit it like right like. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't even stand it up i was like you gotta be and, then the, shitting me. and then the camera stopped rolling the camera filled up the go the gopro filled out that was just bad it was just kind of one thing after another then running out running out to a thousand yards it took every, an hour bro, each way to go sucks. through that terrain that oh sucked God. dude i know and then we found the path and then we got yeah, through, through that <laughs> video just a direct path. anybody that sees that video of us shooting the 300 norma mag the mark 22 uh making the headshot please just give us a like you have no idea the pain in the work and the solid effort, two days in work. the sweat, <laughs> the pure sweat we put into that video. Um, it was, was like was going absurd. out there for like 10, bro, and then being we, there till the sun. We sets. were, we yeah. were there, we were there like all day because it's like you would make a shot and it would like just knock it down enough where we had to go out and run out there again. <laughs> and if you guys know Granby Bowen Gun Club, it's it's some rough terrain out there, it's it's not smooth, it's not flat, it's it's hilly. It's not a good time, it's guys. Not, it's not a good time to walk out there, but uh, but they're doing we were we were there the other day and they were doing uh they did a lot of work to it and i really really hope that we can uh we can get back there and we can we can show everybody but i doubt it i don't think they I really think like us anymore not. yeah they're not they hate you. Your membership. me yeah i think they hate you yeah, yeah. yeah you're right on the problem yeah dude that a lot of you. Yeah, just fix yourself man sad andrew you need to go to church i don't know what to tell you i do need to go to church man i do need to go to church can we go to church with scott you can you're not going to come? Probably not. Why? You think I'm going to fly down to Florida to go to church? Dude. I got a church. We're He's coming up for Christmas, right? I don't know. Probably not. Can we bring Scott to the strip club? You text him right now and invite him to the strip club. You think you'd be upset? I, I should I'm gonna what, if I, so. what if I pitched it for like a religious thing? Like we need to go find these girls. We need to bring, <laughs> we need to bring them to Jesus. We got to start with the strip club. He would we got to start at the bar and we got to start. He first would we say have to he test thought out. that you were a reborn Christian. Uh, and I say first we got to test out. We got to test out what these people are putting in their bodies, especially the beer. We got to really test it out and see what, um, see what this stuff is. We got to test out how deep this yeah. pussy is. We got to test out how deep this pussy is. Like, it's only the logical thing to do, Scott. Come on. Do you think he'll ever find out? Like, I, you know, people, I, there's a lot of people that found the YouTube video that I did not think would find it. So oh, yeah. sometimes we got to watch what we say, you know, especially you. Andrew, Scott. I've been saying that for months. And I you do, just I continue just to just say these ridiculous things. <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> What's the most ridiculous thing I said then? Uh, I'm not going to repeat it because it's what got us kicked out of Granby in the first place. Oh, uh, was it the one where like, yeah, uh, like the weaponized something? Yeah. Yeah. Weaponized autism. You can't say that. You can't say that, dude. But dude, we're at 46 minutes, man. Let's cut this. Let's cut this one. Yeah, uh, let's cut this one short. Let's cut this one short because it's a lot of editing and, uh, hopefully episode go three will be coming out you're going to work and hopefully we can get um we we'll can get, get some videos pushed out tomorrow yeah we maybe next week we'll we'll work on something i'll start editing this bad boy and then we'll drive on hopefully get more than 
57 views or whatever. <laughs> Guys, if you want us to kill ourselves, just say it. Yeah, I know. You, know, you don't need to. <laughs> just post, a, know, post just, in the comments below. At least just put it in the comments section, you know. Yeah. but We're uh, not going to do it, but like, yeah. it's nice to you know, at help least, the algorithm. At, at, least, at, at least we know you guys are watching. At least we know you guys are out there. <laughs> but thank you guys again so much for uh, tuning in. And we got we got some stuff going. We're going to be... The yeah, ball's all rolling. 12 of you, I really appreciate you guys. I know those views. Dude, that was views. Out of all the videos, I've never seen something that bad. Not even close, dude. I was at, I was going to be happy with like 300 views. But then again, YouTube, I don't think is the best platform for, for a podcast, it's especially not. starting out. So we can, we can go not. back to the ground. We can go back to the drawing board. But uh, the thing is, like, our people want to see our dumbass videos. <sighs> they are pretty dumb. Get back at it. We got some MSR. Yeah, we do. We got the MSR coming. We're, we, we'll talk about all that in, in a video. Yeah, that's another... That's another podcast because we got a lot. Well, I mean, yeah. we'll see what they're doing some work on it now and we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, things garbage. Yeah. yeah, it is. We're going on 47 minutes, so we'll uh, we'll cut it short. <clears throat> but thank you guys for tuning in. Episode two complete. Um, definitely stay. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> definitely stay tuned for some uh, for, for some more videos and more content and definitely check out the Instagram. Um, oh, also. Those shirts, dude. I want to give away those shirts. All of the money, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a, um, a post up on Instagram, and all of the money that we get from the shirts, we're just donating it all. I just give away all the money that I make and um, all the profits that I make. Yeah, it's Christmas. It is Christmas, so we try to, we try to give back to the community. We really do. And um, the suppressor one kind of got me mad with the, with the suppressor. We lost all that money. I lost eleven hundred dollars in, in dough on that one, which. Hey, no skin off my back. The suppressor was for free and you just kind of, you know who you are and you just kind of screwed over, you know, somebody. I was just going to literally give $1,100 to somebody, but you ruined it because you're a douche. So, but we'll give oh, away. Well, they learn. Fuck around and find out. Yeah. You want to talk shit? Well, you know what you get then. So thank you guys again. Definitely check out the Instagram. It's Midnight Run MFG. And I'm going to make a post for the shirts and all of that, uh, all that money. I'm just going to be giving it away. So. Um, I'm not even going to sell them. It's just, you give me what you feel these shirts are worth and then it's all donated. So I don't keep any of it. So yeah. With that being said, if you offer a dollar, you're a dick. Yeah. If you give me a dollar, like one guy, I think I did, I did this one time with shirts and the dude gave me like five bucks and I'm like, I'm not giving you shit. I think I did send him a shirt. Just out of like, I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? But I was like, you're a dude, dude. Like that didn't even pick up shipping. I didn't even pick up the shipping costs. Yeah, it's like, no. that's embarrassing. You should be embarrassed of yourself. But it is what it is. People are douches. And uh, yeah, we'll drive on. But thank you guys again for uh, tuning in episode dude, we two. Do a midnight run soup kitchen. That would be cool. We could do that. Could be really we like, good. dude, we like giving back. We really do like giving back. And we, we've donated a lot of stuff that yeah, we, we don't have... really tell people about. A lot of the stuff that we've given, we've given a lot of money out. No, we got a lot of uh, community outreach that goes on. So And given, uh, and we gave away a lot of rifles and stuff like that. So, but. That's for another post, and uh, definitely check out the Instagram. That's where we put all the stuff. And maybe we should again, do another rifle giveaway. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can talk yeah, about no it. Defense just released that new one. More. Ooh, maybe we can do that. It is Christmas time. Yeah, it's time to give the goodies out. But uh, all right, going on fifty we'll minutes. Talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we will. I mean, I've one. been trying to cut it off. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you again for uh, tuning into episode two. Uh, definitely keep your eyes out, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give us a comment. Really, really helps us out. And we'll see you guys later. Later.